Okay, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to start making a quiz. There are two different ways that you can do it. The first is to come over here on the left and to select the quizzes link that then takes you to all of your quizzes, okay? If I do it that way, then I can click up here on the plus quiz. And when I click on the plus quiz, I'm given the option to fill in the details. Okay, so the details come first, I can give it a name, I'm just going to call this practice quiz. And now I can fill out some of these other options. Okay, now, um, in within here, I can tell it how many points I want it to be. Now, if I say that it's 10 points and I'm planning on having 10 questions and they're one point each, then I can make this 10 points. I can also make it 100 points um, and each one could be 10 points. However, if I make it a random number, like I think it's just going to be six questions and I want it to be worth 60 points or six points, and then I end up making a seventh, if I, I have to make sure that the points add up inside the quiz and outside the quiz, okay? Now, for assignment group, this is where I can create categories for quizzes. So I can click new group and I can call this a pre pre quiz. And that is the category that this quiz would fit into. So if I know I'm going to do pre quizzes and post quizzes, I can also call it pre assessment post assessment. Um, I can do that. So you can you can create whatever assignment group you want. Now this would um, apply if you are using PowerSchool and you have weighted categories, then you can add it to a certain assignment group and that might um, parallel with what the weighted categories are. So this is something that you might have to play around with. All right, now, I can choose the type of grading I want it to be. So it can be complete or incomplete, and it's not based on correctness. I can base it on percentage. I can base it on points. So I'm going to be doing complete or incomplete for this. I can choose to not count the assignment towards the final grade. Again, because if it's a pre-quiz, that wouldn't be very fair. The submission type. Um, for this, this doesn't apply, so it is grayed out. And then submission attempts, I can give unlimited or I can give limited. And then if I give limited, I can tell how many tries they get. And um, now I can hit save and publish or just save because it's not finished. Okay. So it creates the, um, now I can build the quiz. Okay. Notice here. I've got build, settings, reports, and moderate, okay? So I'm not going to go into how to build it just yet. I want to show you the second way that you can create, um, create a quiz or start a quiz. So I'm going to go back to my course, and right now I'm in Google Assessment in Canvas. The second way that you can do it is within each module. So if I want to add a quiz to this module, I can add the plus button here. And from here, I can select quiz. And then this changes. All of my quizzes will be listed here that I have created. If I like if if I reuse a self assessment, I could just click on it and it's going to reuse it for me. But in this case, I want to create a new quiz. It's one that I haven't created before. And here I can just call it practice quiz. And under group, it's going to be my pre quiz. And I can choose that I want to indent it. And now I'm going to hit add item. 
and now my practice quiz is here. So when I click on it here, then I can see what my settings are, and I'm going to have to hit the edit button up here, the edit button, so that I can get into the details, the questions, and the mastery paths, okay? So right here under details, I'm going to name it practice quiz, or, or I already did. This is where I can put my directions, and I would write them out. And then down here is where all the power is. So I can make it a graded quiz or a practice quiz or a survey, graded or ungraded. I'm going to go with ungraded survey. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not because that just changed all my options. So I have my assignment group here. I can shuffle answers and I'm going to blow this up. I can shuffle answers, which I like to do. I can give a time limit if I feel like it's necessary. I know that a lot of colleges are using Canvas now, so this is something that colleges tend to do. I can allow multiple attempts. I love this part right here. So the quiz score, I can make them keep the highest or I can have them average together. When I was in the classroom, I always did average because if a student doesn't try at all the first time um, and they get a 10, then um, it was kind of for a motivational reason that I would say, I'm going to average them together. So make sure you try on that first try. Okay. Uh, and that was because I had kids taking quizzes three and four times. And all I was doing was wasting my time grading them. Right. So um, that's kind of just a real world thing. Now in a, in a utopia, if I'm doing mastery, then I wouldn't average it. I would do highest because I'm looking for mastery. Um, but when you do mastery, then the kids, know that they can't progress until they master. So the, the pressure's on in a different way. All right. I can give them as many allowed attempts as I want, um, or I can just let it be unlimited. Okay. Now, um, this part here is about whether or not kids can see the right answers. So it defaults to let them see the correct answers. So I uncheck that because I don't want to give them the answers that they can just copy down and then pass around. Um, I want to make sure that they have to at least figure it out. Um, let them see their quiz responses. Incorrect questions will be marked in student feedback. So they'll know the ones they got wrong. Um, I don't have a problem with that. Show one question at a time. This right here um, still allows students to go back and review their questions. Do not check off lock questions after answering unless you don't want them to be able to go back and review, which as far as students are concerned, this is really not very fair. So check, you can check off show one question at a time or not, right? Um, and you'll be able to go through and see what the quiz looks like if you go into student view. So you can change this after the fact. Um, you wanna make sure you go in and see what that looks like. Quiz restrictions. You can require an access code if you need to. Again, that might be more of a college thing. You can filter IP addresses, which means they can only take it on campus. So you could put the IP address in, um, I believe. And then for your assignments, you can just assign it to everybody and have due dates and then days when it's um, when they can see it and then a day when they can't see it anymore. So again, if you need to light a fire under them, you can use those, but they're not necessary. And then I can hit save. And that is the second way that you can create, just start creating a quiz, okay? In the next video, we're gonna break down the types of questions that are available to you.